It's Gamer on Grant Street. Ooh. Yo guys, what's going on? Gamer on Grant Street back on a YouTube video here today doing Black Ops 1 RTC episode number 2. We're back, we got creative class. Uh, not really much changed. We bought flashbangs and we bought uh, sleight of hand for our perk 2 slot. Might as well throw that on the Olympia as well, just in case we ever decide to uh, to experiment a little bit. This game we're going to be using the MP 5K again because I just prefer that weapon. We got people talking, so we're going to mute them. And we, how far? Uh, we are need to wait till level 13 to unlock combat record. Also, guys, um, I'm going to be trying to get some guests on this show. On this series, not show. I'm stupid. Um, and this is straight honest gameplay. This is an RTC. This is what I, what it is, what it is, what it is, you know? Um, I unlocked that. But I'm probably going to try and get some people on the, the series, like some friends of mine, and go from there see if we can't have some more fun with the series. This is also my first game of Call of Duty of the day. And I had not played since yesterday. I don't even think I played Black Ops 1 yesterday. Not even on my main account. Can't find the doorway. We are going to one pick up this Galil, two turn my game volume up, and then three calling the UAV. Grab the spy plane, call spy plane in. Get a free battle hunting, essentially. Well, we did kill people for it, so. Not even necessarily free. Reload the MP5. Pick up this guy's AK-70. Oh, yeah. Let's go, baby. AK-74, use my gun. I then goofed. I remember this being the competitive gun for uh, for Black Ops 1, like the SMG, the competitive SMG. Because I know the FAMAS was a competitive assault rifle that people use quite a bit. I personally would have thrown Galil with a red dot on as my competitive gun. If I wasn't using this, that would have been my saw rifle of choice. Inbound. And dead. Alright. Now we're back with the MP5. 
can't complain about the gun I start with. Pick up a nice two piece. Followed by a free third. Call him a spy plane. The only good thing about dying back in these older Call of Duties is you pretty much got to reset your streaks. So if you were someone that liked to streak a lot or whatnot, I don't mean the nudist way. You uh, you got to rectify your your. Wow, that was horrible aim, and I shouldn't have died either. I was around the corner. Regardless, I'm back to the topic at hand. If you like to streak a lot, I shouldn't have hit fired. If you like to streak a lot, you were able to uh, by resetting, by, just by dying pretty much. I remember watching a couple beasts, like 100 pluses or something. I'm just making bad decisions right now. A couple beasts, 100 pluses, where the guy would essentially just go and die. Kind of like one would do if you were going for a multiple DNA bomb or whatnot or something like that or a double nuclear or something of that crazy nature I I just did that I am stupid that that double nuclear junk is something I, I will never ever I wasn't even near my grenade at that point uh, never ever force myself to do double DNA bomb I've tried for nuclears and stuff, and now now it's kind of gone downhill, uh, like kill-wise. But just like the, you watch Day in the Lives or something of people that get those gameplays, and you see the amount of like aggra the amount of aggravation they go through just to get those gameplays. The gameplays I get just kind of come to me, and not to be cocky because I do post up some some pretty beast stuff. The gameplays I get are kind of, they kind of just come to me on their own. I don't have to sit there for hours and hours and hours and trying and trying and trying. And I already have headaches more often than not, so, you know, I'd, I'd rather not have that, that headache of attempting to get a 100 plus every day or something like that. Or something of a stupid number like that. I was some... So I've died more from my grenade than I haven't. That's pretty stupid, actually. Anyways, guys, since we did lose connection to host, uh, that'll be the end of the video because we are about eight minutes into it. I'm trying to keep this video short, but I will record the next one right now. I'll see.